Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, y'all, we're going to be talking about lip gloss, but not in the way that you guys are used to be doing, okay? So, let's just jump right into it. Lips. This is not lipstick. This is not lip gloss. This is nothing. This is pure healing from lip gloss allergy. Yes, okay? I'm allergic to lip gloss, okay? I'm surprised as well. I, it took me five years to realize that I was allergic to lip gloss. This happens every September. This happens. And anytime I put the lip gloss on, my lips start to get irritated and it starts to swell and then it starts to heal. And the way it heals is it turns black. And that's exactly what you guys are seeing, seeing that my lips are getting healed. Um, they are black as, maybe if I can zoom in, to show you guys maybe zoom in so my lips are like really black I feel as though that i look like something that i'm not which is a witch with these black lips on okay i'm not a fan of these lips y'all like i don't act it's nothing that i can do to like make it this healing process go fast but it's just the way it's like y'all i feel like it's getting darker and darker like i'm gonna show you guys pictures of like every stage that i was in after i um put the lip gloss on so initially when i i put this is the lip gloss i'm putting on screen with lip gloss that i put on which is surprising because i love this lip gloss but i put on this lip gloss and i started to feel like a burning sensation i was like maybe it's the blistex but i'm like this can't be blistex because i just brought it and it's blistex you know blistex don't really do this to you right so i just put the lip gloss on again i didn't think nothing of it so i just put the lip gloss on again and then i started to like get itchy and everything like that so i'm like hold up i had to look and i'm just like is this mine because you know what i mean like if it's not mine i was gonna freak out but this was mine and um i stopped using the lip gloss but then i was too late because now the uh, lips started to get to have allergic reaction to the lip gloss and this is every single year but i never considered that it was the lip gloss and all every year i put lip gloss on my lips and then my lips turns like this but it always heals though but it's always in the season at this time my lips reacts like this um i don't know why i don't know what's the cause any other time i put lip gloss on it doesn't act like this so i started to think like maybe is it because i use expired lip gloss maybe but that's not the case because like again five years i've been doing this and it's, it's new lip gloss you know what i mean and i still get an allergic reaction from the lip gloss which baffles me because you know the lip, i love lip gloss but I found a new solution, y'all. My new lip gloss, the one that has been curing my lips, has been treating my lips right, okay? And has been um, restoring my lips to being smooth is definitely this one. I've been putting this on and it has been treating me well, y'all. Well, I'm allergic like. to lip gloss and how I found out, like, like I said, I started to get irritated as well. I went on TikTok and I seen that a girl was also allergic to lip gloss. And I just needed that video to clarify that your girl was allergic to lip gloss, y'all. And it's crazy. It really is crazy. It's really nuts. Like, I can wear lip gloss, but in certain seasons, I have to stop because it makes my mouth, my lips, like, bad. I think maybe because the season changes and my lips need, like, moisturiza mo moisturization and not gloss. And that's probably why it happens. I don't know. Um, but, uh, this right here, it ain't it, y'all. It's not it. The only thing I'm using is this. And it helps real good, to be honest. Like, my lips used to be terrible. Like, it used to be so irritated right here. I used to wake up, mouth dried in the desert. But right now, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 the swelling went down, which is great. Because I was in classroom. Top lip was bigger than my bottom lip, but that was looking crazy. Like, I, I... No, 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 no. And then our teachers is having us to introduce ourselves. I'm like, yo, this is absolutely embarrassing. This is the wrong time right now. I didn't want this to happen. But yeah, so um, if y'all, if any of the girlies experience the same thing, comment down below. I know I'm not the only one. I'm just mad that I found, it took me so long to figure it out that I'm allergic to lip gloss. Like, y'all know me. I always post about lip gloss reviews and this and there, but I never took in consideration that in certain seasons 
my lips starts to act different and lip gloss just is not it. I think I'm going to cool off on using lip gloss for a while and just use this. It does perfectly fine with my lips. It makes my lips moisturized. It's more safer to use this than lip gloss. So don't waste y'all eat. Don't even waste y'all money to be honest. I mean, continue to wear the lip gloss, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm stepping down. Um, I feel like lip gloss is getting a little bit too much for me anyway. Um, I may wear it here and there if I want to, but I don't necessarily have desire to even continue to do lip gloss reviews anyway. And I don't care for lip gloss, to be honest. Like, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to announce no more lip gloss reviews at all. I do doing them, and just to find out, most likely I'm probably allergic to all lip glosses that are kind of of a certain brand. I... There's no reason for me to spend money on stuff that's gonna make my lips this black. So, no more lip gloss reviews. It was fun when it lasted. Um, that's pretty much it. So, that's all for today's video, you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, and share if you care.